Hey everyone, Dave from BC Bushcraft and welcome to a quick tip video. This is a very simple quick video on a carving tip that I have for you guys. I used this carving tip when I was carving out this handle for my hidden tang knife. Um, I've been doing this for a long time, I just haven't uh, you know, gotten around to it, but I thought I would share with you a, a tip that I have. Um, using a bigger knife and getting more of the detail in here and stuff like that. You know, you can do this instead of buying those like $30 more carving knives that, you know, have a really small blade and are meant for kind of the fine detail carving, getting in these spaces because using a bushcraft knife to get in these spaces is quite hard and can be dangerous and you can cut yourself like I have a couple times on my fingers. So the quick tip that I have for you guys today is changing you know your more classic one or maybe even your more companion into something that's easier to carve with so the tip that i have is basically i use painter's tape and i will wrap my blade in painter's tape up until you know a point to where i feel that i can carve fairly well with excuse me for the light in the room it's not the best but anyways uh, this is the basic concept is that I cover the blade with painter's tape up into a small point and I kind of, you know, change the knife into just a very small, sharp piece of the tip. And you have way more control in tight spaces when you're carving right at the point here and you don't have to worry too much about cutting yourself on this part of the blade. You just have to make the tape thick enough that the blade is not going to cut through it. So it helps when you're trying to get in these tight spaces when you're cur like just taking little shavings off of you know, these tight spaces when if you have a full bladed knife, it can be very dangerous to come into here. And that's why I have that scar there is from doing stuff like that. So uh, this is a tip that can kind of save your finger and it also can save you, you know, $30 in buying a, a more a carving knife and basically changing your whatever bushcraft knife that you have into a carver. So I plan to, you know, take this handle and make a hidden tang knife out of it. And it, I just found it really hard trying to carve out this little part where, you know, my kind of pinky finger would go in too. That's why I decided to tape my blade up like this. And it tremendously helped me. So you could do something like this easily enough with your more companion because it's got a skinny enough tip up here. You could maybe tape it up until there. And I suggest using painter's tape over something, say like electric, uh, electrician's tape or electrical tape or duct tape because you just can get the gluey stuff on your knife and with painting with painters tape it, it doesn't leave the residue on your knife that's kind of hard to clean so that's really a very simple quick tip that I have for you guys that will just help you with your spoon carving or any fine detailed carving where you are worried about you know cutting your finger when you're holding a full blade like so and it's really good for those areas where you're trying to scoop out little bits of material you're not kind of like up here on the blade trying to do that which is very dangerous for this area of your hand and this is really your danger area for your hand when you're carving so hopefully this tip will help you out with your carving as it did with mine i found a very simple quick easy and cheap it could save you potentially thirty dollars and you know i mean one of those more carving knives is basically just a knife that the, that is this big so uh, you can easily change some of your smaller bushcrafty type knives into one of those carving knives by doing something simple like this. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed the video. This is Dave from BZ Bushcraft. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.